హలో వినబడుతుందా సో బ్రాడ్కాస్ట్ స్టార్ట్ చేసేద్దామా హలో ఎవరిబడి ఇఫ్ ఐఎమ్ ఆడిబుల్ టు యూ జస్ట్ టైప్ ఐ హాయ్ ఇన్ యువర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ గ్రేట్ great 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 thank you thank you very much thank you so today we'll be looking at the preference of posts and uh, the uh, cgle is being conducted uh, maybe in the month of uh, december this year with the first uh, tier so uh, you need to give your preferences uh, in the initial stage itself so we'll see look uh, we'll see the uh, post wise uh, preferences uh, there are two posts which are in the uh, guested cadre <clears throat> one is uh, assistant audit officer and the other is assistant accounts officer so we'll look at uh, these two uh, these two definitely should be the uh, first preferences uh, which you give uh, because uh, they are you are you'll be uh, uh, going into the guested cadre directly Uh, from this examination but the only condition with that is uh, uh, you need to pass the sas examination uh, within 4 years from the date of joining this sas sas examination is nothing but uh, the uh, accounts uh, examination which you need to pass uh, uh, unless you pass this examination within 4 years you cannot be going further in your career and uh, the uh, rider on the, in this is uh, you need to clear it in 4 years if you don't clear it uh, you will be demoted to the post of uh, auditor that is uh, from level 8 you will be demoted to level 5 or rather uh, uh, yeah level 5 so if you pass this then you will be having your career uh, great career and uh, you will be reaching up to level 14 which is a joint secretary cadre so by reaching there uh, uh, it will be a good uh, i mean a good hike actually and uh, uh, if you are demoted by, by that is if you don't pass this examination then you will become uh, uh, the juniors of your uh, batchmates also and uh, your batchmates will become seniors or your juniors also may become seniors and uh, that that is the rider with this uh, and uh, between the assistant accounts officer and uh, assistant audit officer your first preference should be for assistant audit officer the reason is uh, you will be going for auditing in different places and uh, uh, you will be having uh, the ta da and other kind of uh, perks which are not included in, in your salary that is you will be getting a salary of uh, 83508 uh, by taking uh, uh, the uh, pay in uh, metro cities okay your total pay will be 83508 as on uh, today where uh, the da is uh, 38% and uh, hra is 27% for the uh, metro cities uh, or uh, rather uh, group x cities if you are posted in group y cities uh, then uh, your hra will be uh, 18% rather than 27% da will remain the same so that uh, 9% uh, uh, less you will be getting on your basic other ap- apart from that uh, you will be getting all those uh, perks of ta and uh, da and so on daily allowance and so on uh, this da is different from the the da that are, that you are seeing in the uh powerpoint okay the uh, the da that you are seeing in the powerpoint is dearness elements uh, which every employee every central government employee will be getting uh the da that i am talking that ta da that i am talking is that uh, traveling elements and uh, the daily elements which you get on uh, when you go on tour to other places for auditing 
So this is what is the crux of assistant audit officers. And uh, uh, if your performance is very good, if your performance is very good and you get the outstanding ACRs for uh, continuous five years, you can be selected for foreign tours also because uh, the uh, uh, all the U UNO offices uh, will be having uh, the uh, CAG of uh, India uh, as uh, the uh, officer uh, uh, in charge for the accounts of UNO for six years. So when Indian CAG is selected for that, then you will be selected uh, uh, for your tours uh, there also, right? This is what happens, uh, assistant audit officers. And assistant audit officer is the second uh, preference that you need to give. Uh, uh, that you need to give as uh, the second preference because uh, in this uh, the promotions are a little slower when compared to the assistant audit officer maybe uh, uh, i mean like uh, where uh, you you'll be reaching uh, up to level 14 uh, in assistant audit officer uh, uh, the uh, chances of reaching to level 14 is a little less when compared to that but still if your luck favors, you can always reach level 14. Otherwise, there is no difference uh, uh, between these two posts. And also that uh, uh, the uh, assistant accounts officer will be again responsible for the accounts. Accounts, so, so therefore uh, uh, the entire accounts will be dependent on that. And the main point is uh, uh, you will be posted anywhere in India and your services will be uh, All India CADA and uh, you will be transferred also from one place to another place in both assistant audit officer and assistant accounts officer. Okay, so there will be time bound transfers and you will be posted uh, uh, either in the CAG office in Delhi or any accountant general office all over India. Right. Uh, this is what is the uh, uh, crux of these uh, two posts. Uh, if uh, anybody has any doubts uh, in these two, uh, you can post your questions. Uh, we'll just spare one or two minutes on your questions. uh maybe not maybe uh, that is uh, yeah, the somebody has uh, the mr devajan uh, devanjan paul has posted that uh, as per notice i think the preference of post has to be submitted after final result of uh, tier 2 only or before tier 2 result maybe before tier 2 only because uh, most probably uh, your ranking will be based on that only so most probably it will be before tier 2 Okay, fine. So we again, I will go back to the uh, session. Uh, now, uh, the after the guested posts, this the first two are the guested posts. Uh, then uh, you have this uh, assistant sec uh, section officer, which is a non-guested post. Again, a group B post, but uh, but non-guested post, uh, where uh, you will be posted in uh, level seven. So level seven, uh, the uh, earlier two posts were level eight. So now it is level seven. Uh, here, uh, the assistant section officer, uh, bear it in mind that uh, the assistant section officer is the backbone of any office. The notes prepared by the assistant section officer are the ones that go uh, up to the minister level. And uh, uh, everybody uh, will depend on the ASO note only. And without ASO, any office shall crash okay so that is the importance of assistant section officer and in all the ministries uh, uh, most of the uh, postings will be in delhi only in the ministries uh, that is uh, they are divided to three uh, three categories or four categories rather if you are saying the the post uh, the office of the departments the central secretariat service uh, 
द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रेलवे मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स ए एफ एच क्यू ए एफ एच क्यू इज आर्म फोर्सेज हेड क्वार्टर्स विच इज डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री ओके दीज आर द थिंग्स दीज आर द मिनिस्ट्रीज बेसिकली इफ यू लुक एट द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स दैट शुड बी दी फर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस अमॉन्ग दी ए एस ओस दट इज ओवरऑल इट विल बी थर्ड प्रेफरेंस बट अमॉन्ग दी ए एस ओस इट विल बी दर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस बिकॉज दिस इज द मिनिस्ट्री वेर यू विल बी गेटिंग दोस्टिंग्स इन दी वेरियस कंट्रीज uh and uh, you will be uh, uh, going all over the world on the uh, exchequer of the government of india okay so uh, this is what uh, is the preference that you need to give uh, uh, for the assistant section officer that is the uh, ministry of external affairs number 3 that is uh, among the asos first and then ministry of railways ministry of railways is the a uh, fourth preference among the asos it, it should be the second again so because uh, you will be getting the passes and ptos and uh, it is almost uh, you will be you can be traveling all over india free of cost almost okay and then uh, the number of uh, the, the third preference or the uh, among the asos or the fifth preference overall is central secretariat service now all the ministries all the ministries uh, Uh, uh that is uh, the ministry of finance ministry of uh, home affairs ministry of law ministry of commerce everything ministry of agriculture everything comes under css and uh, basically css is a very powerful cadre because uh, if you are selected in css uh, you can be posted uh, uh, in any of the ministries and you will be uh, shifted from one ministry to the other ministry uh, uh, either time bound or uh, yeah, on promotions whatever is the case so you will be shifting in different ministries and uh, uh, you will be the person uh, who will be really handling the entire uh, government of india okay so that is the uh, pa power of uh, central secretariat service uh, and the assistants of css are very very powerful very very powerful that is the put up the notes and uh, <coughs> i'm sorry they put up the notes and uh, the government of india is totally dependent uh, on their notes okay and then uh, the sixth preference should be afhq earlier uh, afhq had a, a problem of uh, per career progression uh, but now it is not like that uh, the, the cadre is uh, set right and uh, there also the promotions are very good and uh, the, in this uh, you have one one chance that uh, after selection as aso uh, and uh, you complete 5 uh, years of uh, regular service uh, by 1st of july if you complete 5 uh, years of service uh, then you will be eligible to write the uh, departmental limited departmental examination competitive examination for uh, section officer which is again uh, in level 8 uh, that that examination will be conducted by upsc and you can by uh, writing that examination uh, by 6 uh, within 6 years within 6 years you will become a section officer in level that is you will be an officer in level 8 and the officers uh, uh, and the officers in level 8 uh, after 4 years of regular service will be directly put into level 10 level 10 so they they will be getting a very good hike so that, that's where uh, you will be uh, uh, having an edge when compared to the other officers okay so by uh, selection by your selection in the aso in level 7 you can be reaching up to level 13 that is guaranteed but if your luck uh, favors you can reach level 14 also but uh, that is a very rare case actually now coming to the uh, coming coming to coming to the uh, assistant section officer uh, in uh, intelligence bureau and uh, ministry of uh, electronics and uh, information technology this ministry of uh, Uh, electronics and uh, information technology is nothing but the mighty they say mighty uh, so these are uh, some of the uh, posts where you will be restricted to your uh, uh, organizations that is uh, you cannot be going anywhere else and uh, the promotion chances are also a little lesser when compared to the top 3 that is uh, ministry of external affairs railways and css okay and the other ministries now the people who are more concerned of not going to other places 
<laughs> and trying their luck for their uh, home uh, hometowns they can try this uh, other ministries or departments because uh, these are the other departments like uh, uh, central administrative tribunal or uh, uh, the central vigilance commission or uh, cbi so these these are the things uh, where you will be uh, posted uh, there uh, though you have the all india transfer liability uh, but most probably you will be posted in your uh, home uh, uh, hometowns uh, if you are near to your hometowns on your choice so that uh, you even if you are posted in any place outside uh, uh, your hometown or near to your hometown you can always make a request to get your get your posting near to your hometown that is uh, one uh, uh, preference that you have so that you can uh, try your luck in, in that okay otherwise uh, uh, among the asos uh, this should be given a last preference uh, uh, because uh, uh, the uh, postings uh, i mean that is the promotion or the placement in uh, level 10 after four years regular service in some of the departments it is not there so therefore uh, you can you have to uh, stay in uh, level seven only uh, so, uh, uh, sorry level eight only even uh, even after promotions right so this is what uh, is the case with uh, asus in uh, those uh, seven seven uh, places right now coming to the CBDT and CBIC. That is uh, in inspectors of income tax and central access. Right. If you look at this, uh, the uh, classification of uh, inspector of income tax is group C. But uh, the inspector of uh, central excise uh, and GST. Now it is uh, central excise and GST. So it is uh, group B. Right. So depending on upon uh, your uh, preference you can uh, give 10 or 11 okay for these two uh, however uh, the, the I, i'll tell you the difference between group c and group b the only difference is uh, like uh, uh, there will be a common uh, group uh, uh, i mean central government uh, group insurance scheme uh, where uh, for group b the deduction will be 60 rupees per month and uh, the for group c it will be 30 rupees per month so that means uh, uh, at the end of the, that is at the time of retirement uh, the person who is in group b will be getting around 60000 and uh, the person in group c will be getting around around 30000 that is the only difference otherwise the the classification does not make any difference okay anyway uh, but uh, when uh, when you come to the uh, uh, inspectors of income tax and in, uh, central excise uh, you enjoy uh, uh, uh i mean uh, immense power before because uh, these are the people who are responsible uh, uh, for uh, the revenue generation for the government most of the government income is coming from the income tax or from the central excise and gst so the inspectors of in income tax and central excise are the key persons uh, who will be uh, responsible for uh, revenue generation and you you will be the uh, uh, blue eyed uh, persons or employees of the government of india okay uh, so uh, the persons i mean the inspectors of income tax uh, if they conduct the raids uh, then uh, uh, from those raids uh, you will be getting some uh, commission also as a, from the as a uh, what is that uh, uh, incentive from the government of India, even for the central excise also, you will be getting that. So this is what uh, you will be uh, enjoying uh, by uh, by the postings of uh, as inspector of income tax and central excise, right? The preventive officer and the uh, uh, examiner also have the same kind of facilities where the preventive officers are generally posted in the field offices that is in the airports or the dockyards and so on so there you will be responsible for the cb i mean the central excise and examiner will be posted in the generally offices he will be a it will be a desk desk post uh, desk post so examiner is a desk post but otherwise uh, most of them are field posts right 
assistant uh, enforcement uh, enforcement officer now nowadays uh, you are looking at uh, the uh, raids by the uh, enforcement departments so this uh, these are the people these are the people who will be conducting the raids okay so again uh, uh, the promotions uh, uh, yeah, the next promotion will be income tax officer for the income tax inspector and similarly the other posts also can I mean, uh, have the same kind of superintendent other kind of things okay uh, so you'll be going to level uh, eight uh, by uh, clearing your uh, limited departmental examination or by promotion okay if you clear the limited department departmental examination then your chances are uh, uh, more uh, uh, to reach to higher levels uh, in promotion otherwise uh, if you are waiting for the promotion to come in the level eight then you will be you will not be reaching uh, to level 13 or level 14 you may be reaching up to level 11 or level 12 okay anyway but once you are uh, once you reach the level 11 that is the post of assistant commissioner you will be conferred with the irs that is the indian revenue service uh, which is uh, an all india service okay uh, this uh, indian uh, irs is given for the civil servants who pass uh, the civil services examination so that you will be getting uh, when you go go to this okay so that's what is the uh, classification for these posts uh, i think uh, 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 if any doubts are there uh, for these uh, two categories that is aso and uh, inspector you can uh, post your doubts please we'll spare one or two minutes for this Okay, fine. So no doubts coming out. Uh, so we'll continue with this. So so I think uh, you you are noting down the options, rank of options. That is, uh, you just need to take down this uh, order. Uh, give this order as per uh, whatever uh, I am giving you. If you want uh, a special kind of thing, you can always uh, you are you are always at liberty to. Uh, put your options but however uh, this should be the way that uh, you need to select your uh, posts okay now coming to the uh, uh, other inspectors that is uh, inspector of posts uh, and uh, inspector in uh, central bureau of uh, narcotics and the central bureau of investigation uh, among this uh, you can always uh, take a chance of uh, uh, who are giving your preferences as you like uh, but uh, according to me uh, the sub inspector in uh, cbi is the powerful posts okay so that's why i've given uh, the rank as uh, 15 that is the option should be 15 right and uh, the inspector of posts inspector of posts should be 16 because uh, uh, these are the posts uh, that uh, that is the inspector of posts uh, has uh, a special power to appoint uh, the uh, gds that is uh, uh, gramin dark sevax right so the, nowadays they are also called as extra departmental uh, uh, candidates okay so these people have the power to appoint those people now that is a uh, no, no no other post has the uh, uh, I mean power of appointing anybody but uh, this is the post that is the inspector of post is the post where uh, you have the power to appoint somebody as uh, uh, the edbpm uh, following the rules uh, rules that are available in the department of posts okay so the inspector of posts uh, central bureau of investigation and central bureau of narcotics are the key posts of central government where these persons are responsible for the upkeep of law and order and also see that all the citizens are complying with the existing rules okay now you know the uh, i mean uh, uh work of uh, cbi and also the cbn right the, you, you might be aware of uh, the uh, inspectors who have got hold of the uh, uh, persons uh, who are involved in the drugs okay so these are the inspectors that is the uh, central bureau of narcotics this is responsible for uh, the people uh, not getting involved in the uh, drugs so this is where uh, you will be playing an important role okay 
uh, all these uh, posts uh, will be having uh, uh, their posting in the field offices only okay so you will be you can be posted anywhere in india and uh, uh, like uh, the central bureau of investigation uh, sub inspectors and the inspectors of uh, central bureau of narcotics uh, are the posts uh, where uh, you can enjoy immense powers right and sometimes you will be working very closely with the prime minister also so that's what is the uh, luck factor works out okay anyway you can always uh, reach up to uh, level 11 or level 12 in these uh, categories okay so that's why the preference has come down to 15 16 and 17 right the salary is again uh, 79053 as in the case of asos and the inspectors of uh, uh, cbi i mean cbit and cbic and cbdt uh, if you are posted in the a group X cities that is uh, uh, Delhi, Bombay, Calcutta, uh, what is that, uh, Madras, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Ahmedabad, right? These are the seven places and Pune also. Uh, these are the eight, uh, seven or eight places uh, where you will be getting 79,053 as on date. Or if you are posted in any other place apart from this, then you will be getting 72,520. That is the salary. So even 72,528 is not a, a lesser salary. It's a very handsome amount, right? Next. Now coming to the uh, assistant in other ministries. That is uh, the ministries uh, which are not categorized under CSS. CSS, AFHQ or uh, some other ministries, right? Uh, then uh, the assistants selected here will be posted in this. That is uh, some, uh, some ministries like uh, election commission or uh, the planning commission that is which is which now it is called as niti ayog uh, then uh, the uh, uh, statistical uh, department that is ministry of uh, planning and implementation right so these are some some ministries where you'll be posted as assistant right uh, there uh, the uh, level is uh, level six so therefore the choice of preference should be definitely after level seven right so that is uh, uh, the level 18. now again if you are uh, selected in the planning commission that is plan niti ayog or election commission or uh, uh, ministry of uh, planning and implementation and other other kinds of uh, ministries then your salary will be around uh, 63378 as on date and if you are posted in any other uh, uh, attached offices of these ministries, then you will, your salary will be around 57,500 because the HRA will come down to 18%. Okay. So again, the assistant uh, is uh, similar to the ASO of the ministries where he will be the backbone of the subordinate offices also. And uh, he will be putting up the files and he will be responsible for all the office correspondence and uh, he will be just below the section officer again uh, these uh, people also have the chance of uh, appearing for the limited departmental examination for section officer uh, uh, which is conducted again by the upsc okay so if you pass in that then you'll, you may be reaching up to level 12 also level 12 level 13 also but otherwise you'll be reaching up to level 11 okay the choice is level i mean choice is 18 overall now coming to divisional accountants divisional accountants uh, yeah, are the posts uh, in the, under the cag <coughs> i'm sorry right so you will be you will be having an edge you will be having an edge uh, over the uh, the over the uh, assistance of the other ministries because uh, you can appear for the SAS examination after two years of service. Okay. Uh, so if you pass this examination, which contains nine papers, and you can appear uh, all the nine papers at a time. Okay. Uh, you can you can you can uh, appear in parts also. That is not a uh, bar that you need to appear in all the nine papers at a time. Uh, but uh, if you appear at a time, then you have an uh, edge because you will be completing. Uh, all these papers within six months or so okay so after two years you can appear for this examination and you will be posted 
you will be posted in the cag office or the accountant general's office that is ag office some of the divisional uh, some of the divisional accounts offices uh, are uh, uh, given to state governments also so i don't exactly have the list of uh, those uh, states where the divisional accountants are given to uh, state governments but otherwise uh, if you are in the central government you can always appear for these examinations and uh, you will be uh, uh, reaching up to level 12 definitely if you pass the essay ex examination immediately after two years as you as you uh, uh, waste your time after two years uh, then uh, the uh, chances of uh, coming to level 12 uh, or level 13 will be reducing as per the time that you take okay so that is what is the basic thing and uh, but the the, uh, the uh, tagline for this is uh, you need to pass the SAS examination uh, as fast as you can because uh, uh, once uh, your juniors uh, I mean complete the required the required two years period uh, uh, then uh, they will be and if they pass the examination uh, they will become they will be becoming seniors to you and you will become juniors so there thereby you will be losing your promotional chances so that that is the tagline for this and you need to take care of that okay so divisional accountants uh, also again uh, if you are posted in group x cities then it will be 63378 uh, or if you are posted in group y cities then it will be 57708 okay so that's how uh, the, that's the crux of this uh, divisional accountants then then after this you need to give your preference to the uh, sub, sub inspector or junior intelligence officer of uh, cbn or uh, cbi okay again the inspectors of cbi and cbn are the key posts of the central government uh, where these persons are responsible for upkeep of law and order and also see that all the citizens are complying with the existing rules okay uh, this here uh, though i have written that you can reach up to level 11 or level 12 i mean the chances are a little lesser when compared to the uh, the sub inspectors who are appointed in level 7 okay here you are appointed in level 6 uh, there uh, the sub inspectors appointed in cbi are uh, are in level 7 okay uh, so here national investigation agencies this basically national investigation agencies are only in the states okay so definitely you will be posted uh, anywhere in india anywhere, anywhere in india and uh, you will be posted in the uh, state, uh, states uh, state governments only okay uh, this uh, this is what uh, you need to uh, keep in mind uh, while getting selected uh, while while giving your preferences okay the level uh, that you can reach again is level 11 only uh, level level on level 10 uh, depending upon your uh, caliber and the promotional prospects fine uh, before we go to uh, level five posts uh, uh, we'll take up a small uh, uh, we'll get uh, any questions are there uh, you can always uh, ask me yeah there are a number of questions now please do order of options yeah that's what i have given like uh, the assistant audit officer is number one assistant accounts officer is number two and uh, i have given the assistant section officers uh, i have given the numbers the rank of options is the is what i have given the numbers i have given that you need to take okay uh, i don't know whether uh, this ppt can be shared as uh, uh, the uh, director uh, of uh, time may give uh, 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 may put some light on this whether this uh, ppt can be shared otherwise uh, otherwise we can always go back to that and uh, in, in the end we'll again go back so that you can note down the preferences okay uh, sir which post will be better if i want to prepare for civil service <laughs> see i mean like uh, civil services definitely is uh, i mean this these posts are not uh, the stepping stones for the uh, uh, civil services civil services is on a different level okay 
but any uh, definitely uh, you can always uh, have an edge have an edge by preparing for the cgle okay cgle if you prepare for cgle definitely you can prepare for civil services also uh, because uh, the general knowledge level is the same as what you prepare for cgle and uh, civil services okay i think that uh, okay uh, mr uh, mukkamala ln uh, i don't know what is your full name uh, mukkamala ln we'll come back to the uh, uh, preferences again in the last okay so that you can note down the numbers fine to be most powerful post uh, see every office uh, there is a post uh, which is powerful but uh, as such as i told you the assistant section officer is the backbone of any office okay right so we'll close this uh, question session for now i will go back, go to the level 5 posts uh, before that uh, there is one uh, uh, junior statistical officer also which is a level 6 uh, right uh, but uh, for this uh, you need to have uh, uh, you need you, you need to, you need to have uh, your mathematics as one of your uh, subjects in your graduation only those people are eligible to uh, give this preference otherwise you are not eligible so for those uh, who have uh, mathematics uh, in their graduation as one of their subjects one of, one of the one of their subjects uh, those people can give this uh, option but again uh, this is uh, post uh, the, this post is limited to ministry of statistics and program implementation so that uh, the you need to maintain the statistics of all the government uh, 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 economy and other kind of things uh, so i don't know whether uh, uh, the you can level uh, you can always reach up to level 11 in this okay level 12 is again uh, again uh, the luck factor that works out fine now coming to the uh, auditor the auditor or accountant in uh, the cgda or uh, the controller general of accounts uh, or cgda right uh, so cgda is the controller general of defense accounts and cag is controller and auditor general and uh, the cga is uh, controller general of accounts okay so this is uh, the auditor again has always an edge over the accountants because the uh, they have uh, extra perks uh, when they go for the auditing in, to the field offices, okay? And uh, th that extra money is always there for you, uh, which is, uh, I mean, uh, beyond your uh, taxable income, okay? The, the, this uh, the amount that you, will, that you will be earning on tours will not be taxed. So that's what is the edge that you have always. And again, uh, the auditor posts will all, uh, always have an edge over the accountants because uh, uh, the promotional prospects are better for auditors when compared to the accountants. Okay, uh, so these are again uh, Group B posts. That is, uh, 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 this is in uh, the level six again. Okay, again uh, you uh, you will be having uh, that edge again. That you will be having again the edge of uh, uh, this uh, passing this SAS examination uh, uh, see uh, whether it is uh, divisional accountants or auditors or accountants okay uh, I, I think i have uh, wrongly written this as group b guested ministerial this is actually a group c non-guested post this is group c non-guested post in uh, uh, level five okay so just uh, a small change in this you need to take uh, take a change in this right uh, so don't take that uh, grade as group b it is group c non guested okay uh, this one uh, if you look at this again uh, though you are you are an auditor or accountant uh, after two years of uh, regular service uh, you can uh, write the ss examination and uh, you will become uh, an assistant audit officer or accounts officer 
so the persons who are appointed directly as uh, assistant audit officer or accounts officer in level 8 uh, through this examination only you can also become uh, the assistant audit officer or accounts officer uh, after two years uh, uh, by passing sas examination okay so within uh, so you will be at par with those uh, assistant audit officer or accounts officer okay so that's where uh, you will be having an edge uh, uh, when compared to the other uh, posts so this is where uh, is that and uh, again if you pass that uh, sas examination uh, you will be definitely reaching up to level 12 that is guaranteed level 11 is definitely there but level 12 is what uh, uh, mostly uh, i have seen uh, people reaching up to level 12 and sometimes level 13 also that uh, <coughs> depends upon your luck okay but however if you are uh, appointed as accountant or junior accountant uh, in other ministries uh, then uh, maybe you will not be eligible for writing that uh, uh, SAS examination uh, and you need to go through your uh, lim uh, departmental examinations there you will be reaching up to 9 or 10 level 9 or 10 so that's how uh, your uh, rankings have come down like you, if you see that uh, auditor in CAG is 23 auditor in CGDA is 24 and auditor in other ministries is 25 right but when compared to accountant in uh, CAG and uh, CGA you can always take that uh, chance by giving up better preference of 25 when compared to the accountant so that's why i have written 25 26 27 for three posts it, it is up to you it is up to you to decide as to what to be given and what not to be given okay so level 20 i mean rank 28 is for the junior accountant or accountant in the other ministries or department okay so these people have a lesser chance of going up to level 11 or level 12 right again uh, the uh, the salary is 53000 uh, if you are posted in group x cities and 48036 uh, in the other places okay uh, again uh, take it the da that i have taken is 38% 38% as on date okay as the da increases every 6 months your salary also will be increased okay next now coming down to the level 4 posts The senior administrative assistant or udc senior admin administrative assistant uh, in cscs that is uh, you will be posted in the uh, ministries that is the you will become uh, uh, central secretariat uh, clerical service cscs is central secretariat's clerical service that is once you become the uh, aso aso uh, then you will be uh, the uh, you'll be lifted to css okay css the promotion from C, uh, senior as administ administrative assistant is first promotion is as okay after that again uh, whatever the uh, benefits are available for asos all will be available for you also okay so even if you don't write the uh, uh, so uh, the section officer examination limited departmental examination most probably you will be uh, you, you will be reaching up to level 11 okay so the uh, all the, you will be posted in the ministries in delhi right and once you are posted in the ministries in delhi you can write the limited department that's what i'm saying right you, uh, you you can write the limited departmental examination for the post of section officer once you become the as after eight years okay and uh, the uh, the senior the direct recruit uh, sas SAAs have an edge over the promoters. So, the persons uh, who are uh, posted as a senior administrative assistant uh, by direct recruitment, that is through this examination, uh, will be given preference in the promotion to the ASO when compared to the uh, promoters. Okay. <coughs> in the other ministries, uh, you don't have this uh, more, only very limited uh, uh, offices are there uh, where uh, you will be uh, competing uh, for the limited departmental examination for the post of section officer okay and once you are posted in other ministries uh, you can be posted either in delhi or in any other offices 
uh, all over India, right? Once you are posted in uh, the CSS or CSCS, the uh, chances of transfer to other places is almost nil, unless you are posted in uh, Ministry of External Affairs. Okay, but uh, the SAS in uh, uh, SAIS in uh, Ministry of External Affairs, I don't think that uh, there is any posting. But if there is any posting of SAS in the Ministry of External Affairs, that is always a better chance. Okay, so that's what is the uh, thing for the UDCs or the uh, senior administrative assistants. Therefore, there that is uh, given a preference uh, over the tax assistants in the other offices. That the tax assistants, uh, though they have uh, the promotional cadre as a tax assistant, senior tax assistant, and then uh, office superintendent, and so on, you will be reaching only up to a level uh, nine or ten. Okay, only a level nine or ten uh, because you will be posted in. Uh, either in the central excise offices or the income tax offices. Okay, once you are posted as tax assistants in either of these CVIC or CBDT, you can always compete for the income tax inspectors or the central excise inspectors, uh, central excise inspectors uh, after this, uh, after the completion of uh, three years of service. Okay. After three years of service, you can always compete for the limited departmental examination and uh, you can always go to the level seven directly from level four. So that's what is the edge you have uh, over the other posts of the uh, level five. Sorry, level four rather. Okay. Uh, though even if you don't get selected as uh, or if you don't want to compete as uh, inspector of income tax or so on, then uh, you can uh, always. Uh, uh, reach up to level nine or level eight. Okay, so the posting will be in the mm -hmm. field offices only, and uh, the, there will be variable variable timings also if you are selected as uh, income tax inspectors. Okay, and uh, that's what I was saying. You can write a limited department examination for inspectors after three years of service. Right. So thirty thirty one. It it depends. Like it is your. Uh, option to give for the cbic or cbdt as your choice cbdt is income tax and cbic is central access okay now coming to postal assistant or sorting assistant in the department of posts <coughs> so this uh, postal assistant or sorting assistant is responsible for a cluster of post offices and shall be responsible for sorting of the letters to various areas with some assistance under him. Okay, so you can reach up to level nine. Uh, this is very optimistic, actually. Level 10 is very optimistic. Uh, you can reach up to level eight or level nine. That is guaranteed. Okay, uh, but only thing is uh, you need to always uh, participate in the de limited departmental examinations that are conducted by the uh, uh, departments uh, so that uh, you can. Uh, uh, get the better promotional prospects when compared to the persons who do not participate in those exams. Okay, so that's where that is why it is uh, given uh, the choice 32. Okay, then sub inspector of uh, sub inspector in this Central Bureau of Narcotics. Now uh, this is uh, a very ticklish uh, thing. Actually, uh, these people uh, they have very var variable timings. Okay, they can be posted uh, in any, uh, I mean, in the field offices, right? And they can reach up to level eight or nine, but definitely, yes, but definitely, yes, they have immense power, immense power. And if they are involved in uh, the catching hold of uh, big shots or uh, somebody related to the big shots, then they get immediate name and fame. So that's where uh, uh, this is uh, very. Uh, a very uh, tricky tricky situation to take a chance okay but uh, definitely there are risks also for, uh, connected with this post because uh, you are the persons who are armed uh, persons uh, you will be given uh, licensed uh, revolvers uh, so therefore uh, this is a very tricky situation right but definitely you will be working under the 
sub inspectors uh, who are up, who are selected uh, in level uh, 7 along with this okay so that, that is what is the thing uh, and again now uh, now again i am coming to two posts uh, which are uh, the senior administrative assistant in uh, military engineering services and the upper division clerk in the border road organization okay now these are the two posts uh, which you need to uh, select uh, based upon your uh, uh, cut okay uh, because uh, the military engineering services the promotional prospects are uh, uh, less the promotion, uh, promotional prospects are uh, uh, less in this uh, services okay and uh, the uh, but you will be fixed you will be fixed to a uh, posting and uh, you will be doing a desk job you will be doing a desk job but uh, you may you may be having uh, transfers uh, anywhere in india but however uh, you will be fixed to the desk desk job okay <coughs> but when uh, when you come uh, come to this uh, upper division clerk in the border road organization uh, now this is a tricky job because uh, you will be posted uh, in only in the borders of india that is uh, you will be posted in arunachal pradesh leh ladakh kargil uh, or andaman and nicobar islands uh, or uh, yeah, i mean these kind of things like right? uh, only in the borders only in the borders you will be in the borders only okay uh, so there they will be getting uh, the risk elements and uh, border elements and other kind of things which uh, will not be available for the other people so the, the, these are the allowances which you will be getting uh, uh, in addition to your uh, normal salaries but uh, the, again uh, the risk the risk is there uh, where you will be posted in the borders right uh, so these are the administrative personnel uh, serving the borders and their farms right uh, you you may reach up to level 8 and here, this also yeah, the minister military engineering services also is the thing where you'll be uh, administrative personnel serving the military engineers and their farms okay that farms is uh, uh, they have their uh, the diary farms okay so you the, the diary they have the diary farms and uh, you need to maintain their canteens or the uh, diary farms and other kind of things right so this is what is the session uh, i think i have covered all the posts uh, got all the posts so before uh, going back to the uh, uh, going going back to the preferences order of preferences we i'll just take up a small questionnaire if you have any okay yeah somebody has posted mukkamala yeah mukkamala has posted that is which post has the highest salary obviously the the post that has the uh, uh, that has the uh, highest level has the highest salary right that is level 8 level 8 has the highest salary then level 7 then level 6 level 5 and level 4 that is the order of thing uh, so this is what is the thing okay i i think i have answered your question right so okay uh, again we'll go back to the uh, We'll go back to the uh, first slide. Uh, uh, from there on, uh, we'll come back to the uh, order of uh, preferences. Okay. Once again, this is the first preference. The assistant audit officer is the first preference. Then, assistant account officer is the second preference. So if you don't want to get stuck, if you don't want, don't want to get stuck in this uh, uh, assistant uh, accounts officer uh, for passing this SA exam, SA exam, uh, SAS examination uh, uh, mandatorily, right? Uh, then uh, you can always give your first preference for the assistant section officers. Here nothing is mandatory. All your choice. Okay. So this is uh, your uh, preference. The first preference is uh, assistant audit officer because this post and the next post, that is assistant accounts officer, these two have the highest pay. That is 
83,508. Okay. Then, then assistant section officer. Assistant section officer, the ranking should be like this. The first preference should be for the Ministry of External Affairs. The second preference for the uh, Ministry of Railways. Then, Central Secretariat Service. <coughs> right? Then, uh, Armed Forces Headquarters, AFHQ. Then, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Then, uh, Intelligence Bureau. Then, other ministries. Right? So, I think uh, you have noted down these things. No, cycling driving essential for PWD? No, 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 no. Definitely that will not be there. Definitely that will not be there. Right. Then we'll go to the uh, next slide. Uh, the order of uh, next preference will be like this. Then inspector of uh, income tax, income inspector of central excise. You can give your options uh, 10 or 11, whatever is that. Then preventive officer, then examiner, then assistant enforcement officer. This is the order of preference that you need to take 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Then sub inspector of uh, Central Bureau of Investigation is 15, inspector of post 16, then inspector in CBM, that is Central Bureau of Narcotics, 17. Fine. Then assistant in other ministries, 18. Then divisional accountants, 19. This is level six. Then, then sub-inspector or junior intelligence officer. Right, this is group B, group B non guest 20 and 21. Then junior statistical officer, this is 22. This is also a group B non guested cadre. Then coming to auditors and accountants. Now this is where uh, this is. These are group C non guested, right? The uh, this is a small correction. Uh, just don't take this, right? The order of preferences should be 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay. Then senior administrative assistants or UDCs 29. This is also group C non guest. Uh, this is the same salary that you get that you will get uh, here also, auditors and accountants. Okay. Then tax assistant in the CBDT and CBIC 3031. Then postal assistant or sorting assistant 32. The sub inspector in Central Bureau of Narcotics 33. Then uh, senior administrative assistant uh, in military engineering services. And then upper division clerk in the border road organization. This is the last. Right? If you are uh, interested in going to uh, the borders, then you can uh, give a preference this uh, to this over the military engineering services that's what is the basic uh, tricky tricky thing that you have okay so i think uh, we have uh, taken up uh, almost all the things right full form of cbn central bureau of narcotics right so that is the order of preferences that you can take. Fine. So, fine. That's good. So we'll close this session. How can I apply to this? Go to the uh, website of uh, Staff Selection Commission. You can apply for this. 
ssc.nic.in yeah devanjan paul okay yes yes mr devanjan paul In the SSC website, that the option form has not released, can't find it. Will it be released later on? Maybe yes. Yes. So you need to clear the tier one examination most probably. Then only you can uh, uh, give the preferences. But you need to take care of this uh, preferences. Okay. Yes, Bukkamala uh, Ellen, what is your question? Uh, Mukilan, sir, which post is the best for first and second preferences? CA, that's what I was telling. Uh, the first preference should be level eight only because uh, you can pass the SAS examination. Now. You have uh, four years to prepare, isn't it? So that should be good. That's a great idea, Ritwik. I mean, you can join the ASA and prepare for the civil services. But uh, Take it from me that uh, you have to, if you join the offices, uh, nobody will be giving you leave uh, for preparation of uh, for, uh, for preparation to civil services. You need to take that risk, okay? Is PWD candidate uh, up for, uh, yes, 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 yes. I mean, uh, you can opt for the uh, inspector of posts, yes. The government is uh, the government is giving a lot of preference to the PWBD, PWD candidates. Uh, the government is uh, giving giving a lot of preference. You have four percent reservation also, specially. Right, I answered your question, Mr. Mukamala, Pradeep. What exemption selection process? Uh, see, that each department has its own criteria. So once you get selected to a particular post, uh, uh, before uh, giving you the uh, uh, final appointment order, uh, they, they, they will take care of it. Th that you need not worry. Sir, you can upload this PPT in Times uh, YouTube channel. Uh, uh, maybe the director can take a call on this. Uh, definitely i'm not the authorized person uh, maybe you can you can i mean that that can be answered by the uh, time director right someone wrote on quora there will be not much work in a so oh no 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 they are the backbone of any office i mean they have the they have lot of work okay they have lot lot of work they are the main important persons What driving? I think driving is not mandatory for uh, any post. Is CGL more preferred than SBI? <laughs> No, 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 no. Each and everything has its own uh, uh, pros and cons. Okay, so you you have to take your own uh, call on this. Okay, we I mean each post has its own pros and cons, right? That that cannot you cannot compare uh, two different posts. You cannot differently compare. Are medical and physical tests compulsory for? Yes, 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 yes. Some physical tests are there for PWD also. 
uh, uh, standards also. Okay, fine. Thank you. So we'll close this session. Right, right. Good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you for joining. Thank you for, yeah, Mr. Pradeep, please explain process. Oh, no, 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 no. That, this, the process cannot be taken now. You have to, you got, you have to get selected in that uh, uh, inspector of post or C, I mean, uh, central exercise. There, uh, they will explain what kind of test they take. Okay. How can we prepare SAS papers? I mean, I am BA, though that's not an issue. That's not an issue. SAS papers, I mean, uh, once you join there, uh, you will be put into accounting pro procedures. So there uh, you will learn everything. Okay, that's not an issue. Okay, right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Happy Navratri to you, Dabanjan. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. So when I have to apply options, that's what I'm saying. Maybe maybe after tier one examination, when you apply for tier two. Okay. Okay, fine. Good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we'll close this session. We'll close this session. Thank you very much. So happy Navratri to everybody. Right. Thank you. Hello. Sir, okay, sir. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay, sir. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, sir. Okay. Right, sir. Thank you.